Despite Tempranillo's uncontested supremacy in the upper Ebro Valley, like Bordeaux, Rioja is traditionally a blend of several grape varieties. If Tempranillo is Rioja's dominant chord, then its three other permitted red grapes are the added notes very often essential to its overall harmony. Garnacha, known in France as Grenache, gives strength and warmth to blends. It thrives in Rioja Baja. Masuelo, known elsewhere as Carignan, contributes tannin and acidity. Graciano, a variety that some winemakers believe could play a bigger role in the future, adds an appealing aroma, stabilizes the color of Tempranillo, and its acidity and tannin help Rioja age with tremendous grace. Um, I love the blend of Tempranillo, Garnacha, Graciano, Manzuelo. Um, there's a spiciness and earthiness and a minerality that are there, and um, they're not always immediately accessible anyplace else in Spain. As a person who loves Burgundy, um, and you understand the nuances of individual vineyards and soils, you can dig into Rioja and you can go. There's a reason why Rioja Alavesa will taste this way, and there's a reason why Rioja Baja wines have more Grenache in them. And Rioja, you can peel away and you can intellectualize and you can wine geek over Rioja, for me more so than any other region in Spain. And one of the greatest part of this trip is that you find wines and uh, indigenous grape varieties you don't see that often in uh, international markets. Uh, these old vines, Gracianos and Mazuelos, with a kind of great potential to create powerful and rich wines and very food friendly for, uh, wines as well. El Graciano is a great variety, it's a great variety, very little known outside of here porque es muy escasa, es una variedad muy difícil de cultivar. El Graciano es en Rioja como el Petit Verdot en, en Burdeos, es eso que hace falta, pero que hay muy poco. It's not easy to farm, but when you come up to a good ripen it makes a wonderful wine. We believe in the Graciano as, as a blending with Tempranillo. If you taste an excellent Graciano and an excellent Tempranillo and you blend them, then the mix is always better. Jesus Madrasso, at Contino, is one of Graciano's most eloquent champions. Many of his colleagues in Rioja, in fact, regard the Graciano that he grows on the 62-hectare Contino single estate to be the region's finest. He uses a high proportion in his Reserva and Gran Reserva wines, and also makes a varietal Graciano, a rarity in Rioja that we believe in Graciano because it gives us uh, color, it gives us acidity, which is very important nowadays with the climatic change, with the hot temperatures, with the level of alcohol, to balance the wines. And it gives color, it gives alcohol, it gives everything. If you use Graciano good ripeness, then you will have marvelous aromas like licorice, menthol, um, uh, anise, seed, uh, a lot of things that refresh you a lot, an incredible color. Like, this is a Graciano, and this is the level of color of a Graciano grape. For this bottle of Graciano 100%, which I love to produce a few bottles of 100% Graciano, pure Graciano. No, it's, it's very important for me to blend with my other wines, with the Reserva, the Gran Reserva, and the Viña del Olivo. That's the most important thing for me. This is a hobby, but it's a lovely hobby. Hmm? Rioja's red wines tend to overshadow its whites but the region's white wines appeal to many, especially sommeliers and collectors who admire the wine's astonishing ability to age. Made largely from the Viura grape, with support from Malvasia and Garnacha Blanca, Rioja whites from traditional producers such as Lopez de Heredia undergo long oak aging and can improve in the bottle for several decades. The old wines from Rioja are magic. And one very interesting thing about Rioja that not necessarily many people know is that there are amazing stores of old wines. And so many places, old wines are, are not, in the, in, not in the winery cellars. And Rioja has a true treasure and a wealth of older wines. And I also love the, the old white Riojas that age. And um, I, I think that they offer um, 
A bit of magic every time you open a bottle, a bit of history.